Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. The other day I tried to do crackle coasters, if you saw that video. Um, I used the wrong resin. For some reason in my head I thought I needed to use the deep pour, the very thin low viscosity resin. And I didn't. So today I'm going to do it the right way. In fact, I made these two a little while ago. And this is what I'm going for, except I'm not going to do this color scheme. And um, I'm going to try to get this, but I, I really want to see it done in my new mold, this crystal edge mold. Um, if you don't have this mold and you want this mold, it's in my eBay store. I will link it below as, as well with everything else that I'm using. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the crackle effect like this. I think I'm going to put some crushed mirror in the center though. And I'm going to use black uh, dye. This is by Let's Resin and also Interference Gold. I think this one was done with brown, brown and gold. Um, that's the back, so it didn't look too amazing on the back, but this is the top that you're not gonna see while it's doing its thing. So I'm going to do, give this another try. Hopefully I get it right this time and um, we'll have a beautiful crackle couple coasters. I really wanna see what it's gonna look like in this mold so I can use this mold for other than something other than the blooms. So let me get uh, some resin mixed up. We only need a thin layer of the, the black and the most of it will be the mica powder actually to hopefully get that. So I'm not too sure about this one, how it's gonna react, but let's see. I mixed up six ounces of my Let's Resin Pump Resin, my go-to resin these days. And every time I'm mixing, resin I come up with other ideas so I have already changed my mind on what I'm doing I'm still going to try the crackle this is what I'm going for no matter what I added another coaster I'm just not going to pour one of them as deep I'm going to do one with just clear and then I'm going to tint two of them with the black I'm going to do one with interference blue and I don't know maybe two with inner whatever two of one color and one of another color so before I start coloring, I'm going to do one coaster with just a small thin layer of clear resin on the bottom as my transparent. I just wanna see what kind of reaction I get without coloring that. I do need to get some more cups out here. Then I'm going to just pour some for my gold which I don't know how much I really need, which one I'm doing gold. Pour some for blue. Oh, I need another cup for my black. And I think I'm gonna save just a little bit of clear to put in the, um, put through the center if I need to, not too much. So I'm just going to start squirting my black in to get that layer in. Let's see. Again, I want it transparent. I don't want an opaque color. I want to be able to see the crackle. This should be the veining. The black should be the veining on these two. That's pretty transparent. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. This is a resin dye. This is not an alcohol ink. I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't think so. I've used alcohol ink to do these before with no problem. Let me just test this on a paper towel. Yeah, I think a little more. That should be good. I know it looks dark in the cup, but it's definitely not dark. So I'm excited to see how these come out because I really like the brown one. I really, really like the brown one. In fact, I think I'm going to change up the top. Um, if you guys want to do that with me, maybe I'll do it on this video. I think I'm going to add some, some glitter to the center and then top coat it, we'll see. Just want a thin layer. Let 
and move it towards the edge. I hope this one turns out good. I really want another use for this coaster other than blooms. Okay, let me mix up my blue. Um, I'm going to do more blue than the gold because I like blue better. That's why. See how it has just a hint of blue in the white? I gotta be careful because I'm right over my coasters and I don't want it to go in there. Let me mix this up and I'll be right back. I've got my blue and my gold mixed up. So I'm gonna do these two in blue and this one in gold. Hopefully I mixed up enough. I do have more clear obviously that I can use. I'm just going to pour this right like that. Might mix up some more for this one. Then I'm going to pour my gold. I'm not waiting for any temperature or anything, I'm just pouring. See, I have too much gold. Should I do some in there just to see what happens? Let's just do some in here. Just to see what happens. Now, um, I am going to mix up a tiny bit more blue before I pour my clear, but these two I could pour clear on. I don't want a lot. I did not pour clear on the brown one, so I hope I'm not ruining them by doing that. I don't think I am. that in there. This one's not quite half full because I use the other coasters, so I do want to put some more in there. And basically, you just let them sit. You don't do anything to them. Okay, and now the clear. That's it. Get your bubbles out. I did drop some powder in there, but that's okay. This is the back. So now we just sit and wait. And if I can get these moved aside, I'll go ahead and top coat my brown ones for you. I forgot I'm going to put some of this crushed mirror in the centers while the center is still open. There is some glitter in this mix too. I forgot. I didn't really want the, the glitter part of it. Um, I'll try not to get the glitter. Which is almost impossible. Let's see. This was given to me by somebody. So I did not do the glitter mix, and I always forget that there's glitter in there. Ooh, this one looks pretty cool already. See that crackle effect starting? Maybe not, you're not zoomed in very good. They're starting. So hopefully, hopefully they work this time. Now I'm going to try to figure out how to move all this stuff without disturbing it. Or I may wait till later. Since you all decided you wanted to see this, you know, I can hear everything that you say to your TV. You know that, right? Anyway, it's probably a good thing I can't because, yeah, anyway. I looked at the edge of this one and I noticed a couple bubbles I didn't notice before. So I did tape those two edges up. So when I do do the top coat, it's not going to just flow right out and break the surface tension. So I'm going to put a dab of this into the center with my UV resin and get that cured 
And then I'm just going to mix up, oops, I guess if I take the cap off, it would work better. You don't need much, literally, that's it, just a drip. And then a little bit of glitter, which I'm sure I'm mixing too much anyway, because I forgot to put this in while it was curing when I made the coasters. So now I will show you how to do it. Or if you decide you don't want to put it in, but then you decide later that, yeah, it really needed it, this is how you can do it. And you'll always get the center because it's not going to move on you. It's going to go where, right where you put it. So I'm just going to do that. Let me close this glitter before it goes everywhere. I did have to move my location because I did not want to disturb those um those coasters look great over there by the way they're moving really nicely it's been about 20 minutes i'm just going to cure this and then i'm going to mix up some resin and we'll top coat these i mixed up one ounce which is way too much but that just means more freebies for you people who order from me because that's what i make out of the extras so I'm just going to drag this to the end. The only thing I changed was I brought the tape down, even with the edge. So the resin was not going to be um, touching the tape. And then I just drag it kind of over the edge and it kind of stops all by itself with the surface tension at the edge. This is gonna shine it up also. A little more than it already was. It's mostly mica powder, so it wasn't super duper shiny. So just let those sit, torch them, get all the bubbles out. And the leftover glitter that I had mixed up, I threw in a little pendant, popped it under the UV light, and we have that. So one of you lucky people who end up ordering will end up with this as well. 
Okay, I will come back. I'm waiting on everything to cure and then we'll go over everything and see how it comes out. They are cured. I put them in the curing machine because I couldn't wait. I did wait about two hours. I let everything move as much as it could and it was like really sticky then I stuck it in the curing machine. So I'm going to start with this one because I don't think we're going to see a lot because I used clear and I think we needed a color to get the crackling. There's the back. Well the crackles there but it's very soft so if we used a color you would definitely see it but it's there. It did what I wanted it to do and the little bit in the center came through a little. Okay, now for this one. Ooh, looks like I torched it too close to my mold right there. I might have to cut it off. This is why I don't like to use a torch. very carefully that's exactly why there we go I don't think I ruined it a little bit but it's usable for me Okay, well, I see it's off center. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I wish I would have had a little more black come through, but it's not too bad. Definitely getting the crackle I wanted. And now for this one. The back looks good, it's promising. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I like that in this mold. The edges are super shiny. Okay, that's my favorite. Definitely my favorite. However, can't really see the blue. Although there wasn't much blue, but yep. You could definitely use this mold for other than blooms. That looks really, really nice. That came through really nice. I really like how that came out. So that's the difference with the interference blue and the interference gold. And this one had a little bit of both. But again, you can't really see it. So definitely use a color in your, in your um, transparent. Oh, I'm super happy with that. Okay, guys, I'll get you some better pictures if you want to stick around to the end. Thanks for coming, hanging out with me. We finally got it. So use your regular resin. Don't use deep pour resin. And that's it. If you want the mold, again, it's on my eBay or in the link below. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye. Before I show you those photos, I forgot to show you the final product. These came out really, really pretty, nice and glossy on top. You can edge them if you want in gold. I was going to, and then I kind of stopped myself because I kind of like them like that. So if you want a perfect center, there's your answer. UV resin and top coat. I'll get you some pictures of these too. All right, I swear, I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.
Thank you.